and welcome back to the Word Conscious Classroom, where we are consciously and deliberately building our students' vocabulary knowledge and word consciousness. Today, we are looking at the prefixes. Con, which means with or together. Con. We have the prefix in, which means into, in, or not. We have the prefix enter, which means between or among. And then we have the prefix re, which means again or back. Now there's different types of prefixes. If it has two meanings, then it is a dual prefix. If it has more than two meanings, then it is a multi-prefix. So we have with or together, between, among, again, and back. These are dual prefixes. But then we have a prefix that has three meanings. So this is a multi-prefix. Okay, here are our Latin roots for today. We have cat and sept. Okay, cat and sept, which means take hold. So cat, sept, take hold. All right, and then we have the Latin root tact. And tact means touch, so touch, tact. Okay, and our suffixes for today, aisle which means like, of, or relating to. Isle. I've, which means tending to or performing. I've. Then we have or, which means one who, that which, condition, state, or activity. So one who, that which has a condition, state, or activity. And then we have Er, and that means state, quality, or act, that which, a process, or a condition. So that's er. Okay, it's time for us to make words. Let's make the first one. Contact. Contact. So we have our prefix con, which means with or together. And we're going to use our root tact, because it can't be con capped, con sept, con tact, contact. And when we put these two together, contact, we get touch together. It wouldn't be touch with, it would be touch together. So when you make contact, you touch together. Contact, contact, contact. Okay, let's try this one. Let's make intercept, intercept. So here's enter, and now we need set, intercept. When you intercept something, you take hold between or among. So if you intercept something, you take hold between because it was supposed to go to this target but you intercept it, so you took hold between. So you got in between the designated target. So that is intercept, intercept. Okay, let's try one more. Let's make capture, capture. So let's see, the act of taking or being taken by force. So we need our cap, chur. Oh, this does not have a prefix. Capture. And capture is the state, quality, or act of taking hold. Capture. Okay, now it's your turn. I'm going to give you a definition and you try to make the word. Here's our definition. The taking back of something. The taking back of something. Hmm. So, 
if you take it back, you have to get a hold of it. So take hold. Re means back, again or back. So recapped, but it's taking hold of something. So we need something that shows the state quality or act of taking hold of something. So we can have recapture, recapture. And that is the state quality or act of taking hold back or again. The state quality or act of taking hold again. You recaptured it. Recapture. Okay, great. Let's try another one. Of or relating to the sense of touch. Of or relating to the sense of touch. Well, we know that tact means touch. So we're gonna to use tact. Of or relating to. I'm not sure if we need a prefix in this case because our suffixes pretty much will tell if it's, if it's an action, if it's a process, if it's relating to something. So let's see, we have aisle, like, of, or relating to. Maybe it's aisle. Then we have I've, which is tending to or performing. So we're probably not going to use tactive. Let's see, can we use tactor? We said or was one who that which has a condition, state, or quality. So it's probably not going to be tactor. Tacture, hmm, that doesn't really make too much sense. And that's state, quality, or act. But we need of or relating to the sense of touch. And aisle was the only one that was like, of, or relating to. So that means our new word would be tactile. Tactile. So something that is tactile is relating to touch. Tactile. Okay, you did a terrific job today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep on learning with us because the English language has over 600,000 words. You heard me right, 600,000 words. And we haven't even touched the surface. So keep learning. We may not get all 600,000 words done, but we're gonna get darn near close.